guys welcome back to world illuminate 11 on this friday i hope you're having a great day and welcome if it is your first time checking out my channel and if it is your first time checking out the channel then please do hit the subscribe button you are very welcome here so we are in this energy of the new moon which is the new moon in sagittarius which is coming in in the early hours here in the uk early hours of tomorrow and you know it is a powerful new moon because it's a new moon eclipse as well and i don't know if anyone else is feeling it but i've been feeling the energy the last sort of couple of days especially yesterday just really tired as well towards the end of the day just feeling the this tiredness as well in my body so that's about that taking some time to yourself and you know hydrating your body as well and looking after yourself and resting as well so you know it's a powerful new moon and it's there to sort of help us to move more into our new beginnings as well so it is really about you taking some time to yourself as well with this new moon to just really go within and you know think about the things that you truly desire speak to the universe set your intentions for the things that you desire we are sort of at the end of the year. This is the last new moon of this year. And it's really sort of helping you to get to the place of just you're being asked to stay focused. You know, the Sagittarius has got the archer as the sign of Sagittarius. And that's about that bow and arrow, which is about that focus. So you're being asked to stay focused on the things that you are truly passionate about the things that give you that fire in the belly because Sagittarius is a fire energy and it's about staying focused on those things visualizing the life that you desire and then speaking to the universe you know setting the intentions about those things that you are asking for but also the angels are saying it's about you really sort of seeing how far you've come you know all this whole year and or the it before you know on your actual on your journey as well on your twin flame journey how far you've come the growth that has happened within you and really before you start setting your intentions actually just be grateful for the things that have happened the growth that has happened within you you know everything that has happened in your life the lessons that you've learned this whole year be grateful for all those things and how where you are right now in comparison to where you were at the beginning of the year be grateful for all the things that you have in your life because the more you start with that gratitude the more you actually raise your vibration by seeing the positive things that have happened in your life and when you do that you raise your vibration and then you speak to the universe from this place of higher vibration about setting the intentions of what you truly desire you know you're more positive you're feeling good in yourself you are seeing all the great things that have happened and that really helps as well to sort of send out your manifestations and your uh, your intentions to the universe so you're being asked to start off with a time of just taking some time to yourself whether it's later today or tomorrow depending on where you are in the world and just really just be in the place of being grateful for all the things that how far you've come this year and then set out your intentions you know speak to the universe about what you truly desire and know that you know this is bringing in new beginnings it's opening up new for new beginnings to come in and be open to receive what is coming in for you and really be in that place of having that confidence as well. You know, the positivity, the confidence, the trust, the faith that the things that you're asking for, including that love as well with your divine masculine is coming in at the right time. And the more you are in that place, the more you feel lighter in yourself as well, because you're not letting the fear sort of drag you down, but you are in the place of, you know, just feeling high vibrational and trusting and having that confidence that at the right time, you know, these new beginnings are bringing in all that you decide so really powerful time to just take some time to yourself and you know and just set your intentions to the universe so what we're going to do um today we're going to bring in just a few decks to check in and see what's going on with the divine masculines and the divine feminines especially with the power of this new moon that is coming in and uh, I am going to be using the Gateway of Activation um, deck that I received yesterday by Carl Gray. Really, I used it yesterday um, for the Pika Power. And do check out that Pika Power if you haven't seen it. Powerful messages were coming out in there. And, you know, we are going to check in to see what is going on with the Divine Masculines, especially with this power of this new moon as well. So thank you, angels. What is going on with the Divine Masculines? Wow. Okay really jumping out there and then thank you angels what is going on with the divine feminines so there's a power there's power in the energy of this new moon thank you angels what is going on with the divine feminines anything else for the divine feminines okay 
And then we're also going to bring in the Monology deck as well. So thank you, angels, for the Divine Masculines, what is happening with the power of this new moon. So really jumping out for the Divine Masculines and then for the Divine Feminines. Thank you, angels. Okay. And we'll also bring in the Almost Tarot to see what else is going on. Thank you, angels, for the Divine Masculines with the power of this new moon. What else is going on with the Divine Masculines? What else is going on? For the divine masculines anything else thank you angels for the divine masculines okay and then for the divine feminines thank you angels what else is going on for the divine feminines okay right so let's see what cards have come out here the ones that were really jumping out for the divine masculines so from this activation deck so the first card that i have here is the crystal skull wisdom and it says, clarity, divine healing, high vibrational energy. Wow. So this is really powerful. This is showing you that, you know, your divine masculine is getting sort of clarity coming in as well on their journey. You know, they're going through their awakening. They're starting to see things from a different perspective. They're gaining clarity. This new moon is going to bring in some clarity as well for them. And they're getting a divine healing. This is like divine healing for their crown chakra to help them to raise their vibration as well, to get in, you know, it's like this high vibrational energy that is coming into them to help to release the negativity that they've had, you know, the fears that they've had so that they can also raise their vibration and move into a place of being high vibrational in themselves as well. So high vibration energy is coming in for the divine masculines to help them since they're getting this divine healing that is coming into their crown chakra to help them to be able to keep moving forward on their journey. So they are in this place of, you know, opening up to some clarity as well in relation to their own journey, the things that they want to do in their life and, you know, to really sort of help them to move forward as well into their new beginning. So really powerful as well that that has come out. And the next card that came out is Seraphim's Gateway and it says voice activation angelic attunement divine support so this is really powerful so there's a lot of like healing of for the crown chakra you know the crown chakra the voice activation that's about them being given the the chance to be to clear to open up their throat chakra you know to be able to speak their truth as well and that's about speaking their truth in their life you know they may be wanting to make certain changes in their life they may be wanting to speak their truth we know they want to speak their truth to tell their divine feminine of how they feel it's like you know this um, activation that is happening toward to them especially as we move into this new with, with this new moon as well is really helping to activate their, their voice so that they can speak their truth. They can be able to move forward to say the things that they truly would like to say. So there's angelic attunement coming in as well for the divine masculines. They're having divine support. So there is really powerful. This card is about divine healing and divine support to help the divine masculines to get to where they're truly meant to be. So they are really being helped by the angels. You know, there is support coming in for them to help them to be able to open up to speak their truth and to also they are also getting these attunements as well to help them to really find that clarity and move forward on their journey so there's a lot of divine healing that is happening for the divine masculines to help them to keep moving forward on their journey really powerful cards and the next card that came out is the akashic records and it says clearing old stories releasing past lives freedom so you know there is a lot of activation and you can see all these cards is like a lot of light that is coming in for the divine masculines you know a lot of light around their heads their crown chakra and you know that's the the angels as well sort of coming in with the angelic attunements and this is about clearing old stories so they are sort of getting rid of the old stories the things that have happened in the past working on releasing all that so that they can be able to move forward towards their new life they are releasing past lives as well things that have happened that's what this divine healing is coming in to do to help them to release all the things that have happened you know the things that are of low vibration the things that bring in the fears as well within them to help them to find their freedom 
So really powerful that these cards have come out. This is showing you that there's a lot of like activation and angelic attunements happening for the divine masculines, that divine support that is coming in to help them to move forward on their journey. And the last card that came out from this deck is Emerald Tablet Activation. So again, activation going on here. Cosmic Ordering, Divine Alchemy, conscious manifesting so the divine masculines are really getting to the place of really becoming you know a conscious in their manifesting as well they are conscious of the fact that they can ask the universe they're gaining clarity to realize that they can now they can ask the universe for the things that they truly desire it's like making an order to the creator you know the cosmic ordering to ordering from the universe for the things that they desire and trusting that those things will come in at the right time the life that they desire the love with you as well their divine feminine so there is this conscious manifesting that is happening on the divine masculine side and it's also powerful that this has come out in time of this new moon so they are working with with the power of the universe to manifest the things that they desire this card came out in one of the um you know in one of the uh, picker piles as well yesterday it's really showing that there is that conscious manifesting on the divine masculine's part to help them to move towards that life that they truly desire so really powerful you know they are setting their intentions as well to bring in the life that they desire with you their divine feminine and then the cards that came out for you the divine feminine so there were quite a few cards that have come out. So we'll start with this one. It says, comic board clearing, comic board clearing, energetic clearing, rewrite your story, live your truth. So this is really powerful. This is about you also releasing the karma in your life as well. It's like, you know, this new moon is sort of bringing in this movement into new beginnings for both you and your divine masculine, releasing the old, you know, sort of letting go of, you know, clearing your karma as well. The things that you've been working on to release in your life to help you to move into your new beginnings. So that is what this this new moon is sort of helping both of you to do. You know, things that you've been working on the, the past year, things that you have been working on as you work on yourself as well. It's like the comic board is being cleared so that you can be able to, to start again. It's like an energetic clearing that is happening to help you to move forward into your new beginning. So you're like rewriting your story as well as a divine feminine, you know, to stand in your truth and live your truth. Let go of the things that have held you back. Let go of the fear so that you can move forward into your new beginnings. And the next card that came out as well is the third eye activation. So there's a third eye activation happening for you as well, the Divine Feminine. Bro brow chakra, inner vision, clear seeing. So you're starting to really sort of connect with, with your inner world as well, to really see things from a higher perspective. You know, it's like you are getting this inner vision. You are seeing things using your intuition, you know, rather than just seeing the things that are going on, you know, with your two eyes, you are understanding things from a deeper level and you are having this clear seeing, you know, seeing past the illusion of the 3D world. That's about connecting with you know, that inner vision that you have, understanding things from a higher level, uh, from a higher perspective. So really powerful that that has come out. So this, this new moon is also bringing in that third eye activation to help you to gain more clarity as well as the divine feminine. And the next card that came out is thought fourth light codes and it says light initiation great teacher awakening divine magic so this is powerful this is showing you that you are awakening as the great teacher that you are you know, you are finding divine magic in your life because you are walking on your path, on your spiritual path as a divine feminine. You know, you are seeing the magic and the miracles that are happening in your life because you are connected to the creator. You are living your life more from that place of your truth. And that is bringing in divine magic in your life, which is helping you to be able to move forward. And you're also becoming, you know, stepping more into your power to become that teacher that you are you know you're releasing the fears that have held you back all all this time to really step into your power as a divine feminine to really be that teacher that you are here to be to help others as well so really powerful that that has come out and the next one is venusian galactic council and it says star being guides answer the call time to shine wow really really powerful 
So you've got star being guides that are guiding you, divine feminine as well, you know, helping you on your journey, helping you to really step into your power as well. And it's about you answering the call. You know, you are answering the call as you keep moving forward on your journey. You know that you are here to do great things and to really step into your power, to, to really do your mission and the things that you are here to do. And the angels are saying to you, it's time for you to shine. So you're being guided. Everything that is going on in your life right now as well everything that has been going on in your life on this journey that you're on has really been there to help you to get to where you're truly meant to be to help you to release all the things that have held you back so that you can really shine your light so the angels are saying to you here divine feminine it's time for you to shine and the last card that came out is the soul star activation and it says fulfilling soul contracts remembering who you are so really powerful. It's like all that has been happening on this journey that you're on with your divine masculine. You know, it's really about also being grateful. You know, when you're setting your intentions, be grateful for this journey because it is a beautiful journey that is, has helped you to remember who you are. It has helped you to release all the fears, the things that have held you back all your life so that you can truly remember you, who you are. And you would not have done that without this journey with your divine masculine. So it's about giving gratitude attitude for your divine masculine as well because it is the deep love that they have for you that that is sort of helps them to even though it may not seem like it on the 3d but it is that deep love that they have for you that is may help them to help you to remember who you are and this journey that's why this journey comes in to help you to remember who you are the same is happening for your divine masculine as well because of the deep love that you have for them you are helping them to remember who they are so you know really powerful this is for you to fulfill your soul contracts for you to shine your light you know it's time for you to shine to fulfill your soul contract which is to do your mission to do the things that you're really here to do and to be your true authentic self you know that's part of you fulfilling your soul contract releasing the fears and standing up for who you truly are becoming your true authentic self leading by example as well being that great teacher who is leading by example so this journey has really come in to help you to remember who you are and now you are stepping into your new beginning that are really there to help you shine your light because you've been going through all this time of training on, on your journey to help you to really step into your new beginnings and we are about to move you know a few weeks away from 2022 which is all about that forward movement as well to help you to fulfill your soul contract and you know move more towards your mission as well so really powerful cards that have come out i really love this deck so we are now going to check in to see what's going on with uh, the monology cards. So the cards that have come out for the Divine Masculines. So the first card that came out is take time to breathe out. So the Divine Masculines are also taking this time to breathe out. You know, the time that they have with this, with this new moon is really about them sort of taking the time to breathe out. So they may really just be taking it easy as well this weekend for themselves. And, they, and then the next card that came out is the full moon in Sagittarius and is look at the bigger picture. So your divine masculine is starting to see and understand that there is a bigger picture when it comes to their life, when it comes to the things that they've been going through. You know, they're understanding, they're gaining more clarity now as they're opening up to that divine healing that is going on for them to help them to realize that they are here to do bigger things than the life they've always led. So they're starting to see the bigger picture as well. And then the next card that came out is Prosperity Lies Ahead. And it's the new moon in Taurus. So the prosperity lies ahead for your divine masculine, you know, to help them to live the life that they are truly meant to live, you know, as they move forward towards the love with you as well, their divine feminine. And, you know, prosperity lies ahead for them. And then the cards that came out for you, the divine feminine. So the cards that came out from this deck, wow. So we've got really powerful 
the decks and the answers you need are coming so really powerful cards for the divine feminine i was just looking at them they're four beautiful cards and it's the full moon in gemini and you know gemini is about the twins as well so the angels are saying to you here the answers you need in relation to your journey with your divine masculine they are coming it's about continuing to have that faith and confidence as a divine feminine to trust that you are going to have all the answers that you need and just really keep moving forward in the place of of just having Having faith and knowing that it is all coming in and having confidence as well and the next card that came out is a full moon in Libra a win-win outcome is focused so the angels are saying to you the more you are positive and trusting and having confidence and staying focused on you know the things that you truly desire then know that a win-win outcome is focused you know there is going to be a win-win outcome when it comes to this love when it comes to all other areas of your life and the other two cards that came out a new start is coming and that's the message that was really coming through that all the things that have been happening on your life in your life right now on your journey as well with your divine masculine it's all to help you to be ready to step into your new beginnings and that new start is coming in so the angels are showing you here especially it says the new moon as well we've got this new moon uh in sagittarius the angels are showing you here that a new start is coming so you it's about you staying in the place of trust trusting and having faith and also a new the new moon in libra and it's a new romantic cycle begins so you're being shown here that a new romantic cycle is beginning it's not just about the new start in your life it's also in your romantic life so a new romantic life is coming in so you're being asked to really stay in the place of being high vibrational and having that trust and confidence in your journey and then the cards that came out for the divine masculines um the first card is solitude this is from the almost tarot so they may be going through the time of solitude you know taking time to breathe out for themselves as well you know to really focus on their life as they go through all this healing that is happening the angelic attunements that are helping them to find that clarity to move forward towards the life that they truly desire so they may be solitude going on for your divine masculine right now as they go through this time of healing and the next card that came out is delayed communication so there may be that delayed communication because they are there is all this sort of healing this may be for you this weekend for you with your divine masculine it may be because they there is all these things that they are working on for themselves you know taking time out for themselves as well and the next card that came out is confidence and this is to help them gain their confidence so that they can be able to move forward towards the life that they truly desire and then the cards that came out for you, the Divine Feminine, the first one is All Paths Lead Home. So you're being reminded that all paths lead home. Whichever path your Divine Masculine is on, it is leading them home to you. So it's about you staying in the place of trusting and having faith. And again, the Delays card has also come out for you, the Divine Feminine. So there may be delays, especially this weekend. as It is really about focusing on yourself. And know that these delays are there to help you both to get to where you're truly meant to be because your new beginnings are coming in a new start in romantic cycle is coming in but it is you know whatever delays may be coming in in your journey is to help you both to get exactly where you're truly meant to be and the, so you're being asked to have patience so it's about having patience and really staying in that place of trusting and having faith that it is all coming in at the right time and let go and surrender so you're being asked to surrender and let go and trust that with the creator, everything is being sorted out. So it comes in for you at the right time. So we are going to bring in messages from the divine masculine to the divine feminine to see what your divine masculine would like to say to you um, this weekend. So let's see what cards have come out here. So the first cards that came out really powerful uh 22 i visualize being with you every chance i get i'm learning about the law of attraction so really powerful as well is when we have this new moon that is all about setting your intentions visualizing you know the things that you desire this is confirmation that your divine masculine is really sort of setting those intentions to be with you manifesting you into the into their life you know visualizing you into their life as well and the next card that has come out here is I really wish I could take back all the hurtful things I say to you. But since I can't, all I can do is tell you how sorry I am. So they are sorry. You know, they are gaining more clarity in their life. And they are sorry for the things that have happened in the past. 
And they're also saying the thought of you dating and flirting with another guy kills me. I don't want to lose you. So they are also letting you know that they don't want to lose you. They want to be with you, their divine feminine. So they're doing what they need to do so that they can be with you. And they're also saying, I love kissing your breast and fantasize about making love to you. So they're also thinking about being with you. You know, they're thinking about being with you, their divine feminine. And the last card is, I hope there's a chance that we can get back together. I love you very much. My life is so empty without you in it. So your divine masculine is saying their life is empty without you in it. And they want to be with you, their divine feminine. So this is why they are taking the time of solitude. They, they are those necessary delays to help them to get where they're truly meant to be so that they can be ready to be with you. Because, you know, they really feel that their life is empty without you in it. And they're hoping that there's a chance that you can get back together again. So really powerful. So we're going to see how they're taking charge of their life with my deck. Divine Masculine takes charge. So thank you, angels. How are the Divine Masculines taking charge of their lives? How are the Divine Masculines taking charge of their lives? Okay, so let's see what has come out here. I am focused. So this is powerful. You know, they are telling you here that they are focused. They know they want this life with you. They're divine feminine. And they're saying, I am focused. They're also saying, I am working towards my mission and purpose. And they know that part of their mission is to do that mission with you, their divine feminine. So they're working towards this and they are focused. You know, they know they have where they truly want to get to. And they're also saying, I am taking time out for myself to go within to process things and heal so that's what is happening you know that solitude they're taking the time for themselves to process things and heal so that they can then be ready to be with you this is why they are saying you know i am sorry about what happened they are processing things they are seeing things from a different perspective and they're also saying, I'm doing what makes me happy, no other people. So they're starting to really stand up for themselves. You know, they're realizing that for them to make a change in their life, they need to do what's, what's good for them. You know, whether it's walking away from certain situations, taking some time to themselves to just work things out, go through their healing because there's that divine healing that is happening. They're doing all that for themselves so that they can really get to where they want to be, which is also to be with you, their divine feminine. So we're going to finish off with the divine timing deck. Thank you, angels. What do we need to know? What do we need to know this weekend with this new moon as well? What messages are coming through for everyone in relation to the journey? What do we need to know? What do we need to know? Okay. So the cards that have come out here, let's have a look and see. Okay, so a few cards have come out. So 27 has come out and it says, you are a magnet. What you give out is what you get back. So you're being reminded that the more you are operating from love, giving out that love, operating from unconditional love, positivity, confidence, the more you get back the positive things that you desire. So you are attracting things into your life. So it's about staying in that place of positivity. And the next card that came out is make, you, make your wish. So this is really powerful. You know, that's what this new moon is about. You're being asked to make your wish, to set your intentions, speak to the universe about the things that you truly desire. And the next card that has come out here is to trust your intuition. So the angels are saying, trust your intuition. It is guiding you to the life that you are wanting to, to have with your divine masculine and in your own life as well. And the next card that came out, we've got a not yet. So the angels are saying it's not yet. That's why there's those necessary delays that are happening for your divine masculine, delayed communication. There is still some releasing that is going on to help your divine masculine to get to where they're truly meant to be. And some releasing as well with you. So they're saying not yet, but it is all coming in because those new beginnings are coming in. And, you know, the next cards that came out, these are really powerful. You know, we've got three, two cards. We've got Easter time. So it says resurrection, March, April and spring fertility. So this is showing you that, you know, as we move into 2022, there is this time of the resurrection and, you know, fertility, things happening in as we move into the springtime as well so there is a resurrection that is coming in in relation to your journey and you know we are only a few weeks away from 2022 now and that is there to bring in those new beginnings so you're being asked to not give up so the angels are saying to you don't give up everything is being sorted out your divine masculine is going through what they need to go through to get them to where they're truly meant to be so the angels are saying to you divine feminine 
You've come a long way on your journey. Keep doing what you're doing and don't give up and know that that new beginning is coming in for you and the new romantic cycle is coming in for you as well. I hope you have a great day, guys, and a great new moon as well. And remember to rest and drink a lot of water and take that time for yourself as well. I'll see you on the next video. Love, peace, positivity, and light.